Welcome back everyone it's another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can actually make millions and level up quickly and the great thing about this entire thing is there's only one thing you need in order to get started with this. Getting started with today's video due to the fact that it's actually Halloween week this is when Rockstar Games releases all of their Halloween content into the game. And for this week, they actually made the Adversary Mode Judgment Day put back into the game, as well as they made a Don't Want an RP for this week. Now, this is actually a really good money and RP method, especially an RP method, but it's still good money and RP. So, just getting started with this, thankfully for this one, you have to have another player in order to start it up. But because it is one of them that's no money in RP, there's going to be a lot of people playing it, so it shouldn't be too hard to actually find someone to do this with. And once you have that set up, you're good to go. As the level requirement to actually start this job up is just rank 1. So you can literally just go ahead and play it right whenever you get back into GTA Online. So from here, what you want to do is first make your way into any GTA Online session. You can go into an invite only or a public, it really doesn't matter. And then at this point, you know, the next thing you want to do is press options. Go to online, go over to jobs, and this is where you choose between a quick join or play job. Now, if you have someone you want to do this with, or you want to select a specific job up, then go to play job, go over to Rockstar Created, make your way over to adversary modes, and just keep on going until you find the Judgment Day adversary modes. There's going to be seven of them that you can choose from, it, and all of them will be done by an RP for this week. You can see here it does unlock at rank 1, but you do need two additional players. I thought it was just one, but it looks like you have to actually have two, including yourself, having three players at the minimum. And from here, if you want to actually try to find a group who's starting any of them up, like I'm going to be doing, you want to go back over to here, go to quick join, and then go over to play adversary mode. What this will now do is try to take you into any adversary mode that anyone's starting up in the game currently. And hopefully for this one, because it is still money in RP, Maybe it should be easy to find a group for it. Okay, so it looks like we've actually found a group with almost a full amount of players. This one's going to be Judgment Day number 4. And sadly, for some reason, the first win is only set to one round. But anyway, let's go ahead and start it up. So for this one, there will be two different teams. One will be Hunted, the other will be Riders. Now, the Riders will only consist of two to three players, while the Hunted will be the rest of the entire group. So how this will work is there's going to be riders which will be in motorcycles and they have a decent amount of health, a lot more health than the hunted did. And so what's going to happen is they have to kill the hunted. And so what happens is that if you die as a hunted, you stay dead forever. But if you are a hunted and you manage to kill one of the riders, one of the hunted will now respawn back and you're able to play again or just depending on how many there is. So the entire point of this is for the riders to take all the hunted and the hunted to take all the riders. Like I said, the hunted, if you die with the hunted, then you can actually respawn back if a rider dies. And if he dies a rider, you're, you're dead for good. So anyway, let's just go ahead and start off with the first round here. It looks like for this one, like I said, we will be the hunted. And so we're just going to have to try really hard to win this one. Okay, I wanted to make sure my mini-map was popped up. There we go, we won the entire thing. Sadly, it was only one round, so we're not going to make too much here, but we got $23,950 and 3,000 RP in total. Now, it doesn't look like a lot. That's because, technically, we've only went one round. And for this one, we only spent around four minutes in total for this one. And so it looks like the enemy team only got $11,940 and 1,800 RP. Alright, here we go. So this one's Judgment Day number 1. This one is set to the max of 4 rounds. And of course, we're just going to wait for more players. Hopefully it's not going to happen like last time where we got to 1 round and then that was it. Alright, and there we go. So I was able to win this one, thankfully. So we won that round. And let's go ahead and see how much money in RP we got. So it looks like for this one, we got $14,930 and 2,250 RP. So it looks like I won this one, thankfully, as the hunter. And I feel like I killed everybody there. I could be wrong, but I do want to go and see how many kills I got for this one. So I got four kills, which was everybody. And the person I did have as my teammate did leave. But we still won this one. I got $14,930 and I couldn't see the RP amount exactly yet. Now, this one is set to four rounds, meaning that I've currently won two, and I think they've all won one round. And so now, at this point on, if I was to win two more, it would end the entire match here, and we'll just see how well this goes. Now, at this point on, I'm assuming they're just going to have two hunters now, 
and what is it like three of the hunted i'm not sure how they're gonna do this let me see if i can okay so there's gonna have four hunted and then one rider right? yeah that was just it all right so now at this point on because of how little amount of people we have it most likely the hunted are gonna lose it'll be very hard for them to win it so it looks like for this one i only got four thousand and the winner got eight thousand for this one so now we're at the point on where i think the best thing to do here is just to hide because with one hunter or yeah one rider i guess and for hunted, it's very easy for the rider to win. Okay, so it looks like we won the entire thing. I'm guessing the hunter actually just took, just left after this one. So we got $23,800 and then 300 RP, which is incorrect. That's not how much RP you get. We'll go ahead and see what the max is because that's definitely not correct. I was able to get 300 RP just off killing everybody. All right, so I went ahead and added all three of the matches here. And so we're going to go ahead and just go individual each one here. And so for the first match here, we got $23,950 and 3,000 RP. As for the second match here, which was really only like one round and a little bit over that, we ended up still making some pretty good money somehow. We ended up getting $29,950 and 3250 rp now the great thing is is that with our kills i didn't have to add that up because that ended up equaling what our total score was for the fi final end match here so thankfully i actually didn't have to do any work with that but anyway when it comes down to our third and last match here we actually made the most amount which was forty three thousand four hundred and sixty dollars and six thousand two hundred and fifty rp whenever you go and combine all of this together it gives you a total score of ninety seven thousand three hundred and sixty dollars and then twelve thousand five hundred rp and so there you guys go that's how much money and rp i made now i went ahead and looked on the obs recording to see how long it took to complete everything and for all three of these matches here it took a combined total of around 32 minutes and this is just equaling the gameplay itself, not equaling like going into a match and having to actually go and find a group. That was just playing the job specifically. It took us 32 minutes for all three of them. And so there you guys go. That's going to be your entire money and RP method for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully this has helped you out. If it did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.